right, Dave from Song here, and today we are going to be talking about bow speeds. When we're playing the violin, we use the bow to make the sound, right? So basically our left hand makes all the notes, and our bow is kind of like our voice. We use it to produce the sound and make the, uh, the notes that we play with the left hand uh, sound. So when you're using the bow, there are different ways to change the sound. So one of those ways would be in the bow speed. When you play with a really slow bow, generally the sound is a little bit quieter. And when you play with a fast bow, generally the sound is, is uh, a little bit louder. So I want to practice a few different ways that you can play with different bow speeds. So one great thing that you should always try to do when you're practicing is kind of have a rhythm in mind. If you're playing a piece of music or if you're just playing a scale or something, you should have a particular beat because any kind of music you play is going to have a, a beat, you know, a metronome or a heartbeat or, you know, a drum set or something is going to be keeping time. So if you sort of practice in your head keeping a beat or you can, if you have a clock, then you can play with the clock or something. Uh, then you can practice different bow, bow speeds. So what you can do is pick an open string. In this instance, we're gonna use our A string. So we're gonna play our A string. And I want, I'm gonna establish a beat, and then we're gonna play uh, different bow speeds. So the first one, we're gonna do four beats and try to use the whole bow. So every time we use it, we're gonna use the whole bow from frog to tip. So I'm gonna play I'm gonna get a, a little beat going, and then I'm gonna play my A string for four beats, then you try. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And so we did a, a long down bow from the bottom to the top while we kept a beat. Let's try again. So four beats, whole bow. A one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now sometimes, you know, you might have to adjust it a little bit. Maybe you're, you're starting to go along and maybe it's a little bit too close, too slow. You get to the count of three and you still have all that bow left. You got to increase speed. So why don't we try one more time, four beats, and then we'll try a faster bow. So we'll change after two beats or three beats. So let's do another four beats on the A string. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we'll try a little bit faster. We're still gonna use the whole bow, but we're only gonna use three beats. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's try again. A one, two, three. One, two, three. Now let's try a little bit faster. Try to keep the same beat so that you're not actually changing the beat but you're only changing how many beats happen during a bow stroke. So we're gonna do two now, ready? One, two, one, two. This one should feel very fast. It should be as soon as you start drawing the bow across the string, you can feel it really traveling down, gravity pulling the bow down, almost like you're just dropping it to the floor. Let's try one more time. Oh, uh, one, two. That's it, okay. So now, if you're a little bit more advanced and you're starting to use your fingers and playing uh, scales and arpeggios and stuff, there's another great way to practice bow speed. We can sort of do the same thing, but we can add one note of the scale every time. So uh, we would start with just the A, and then we would play A, B, then A, B, C. And so each time you add another note, and so it gets a little bit longer. So we, in this case, it's actually the reverse. We start with a fast bow, and then it gets slower every time. So let's try, we'll try that now. So we're gonna keep the same beat each time. We're gonna add one more note to the scale. So you know a scale, uh, if you're a little bit uh, more advanced, you have a little bit more experience, you know a scale is going from one note to the next time you see that note. So if we start on A, we play A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then A, we get back to A at the top. So first we're gonna do just A, then we're going to play A, B, and then A, B, C, and so on. So the first one, I'm going to count four beats, and then we're going to just play an A. A one, two, three, four. Just like that. So now we're going to play A 
and then B. So the thing is, we actually add our B, our first finger, in the same bow stroke. We draw that bow, and as we're drawing the bow, we add that first finger for B, and that's what we call a slur. We play like this. I'm just pulling the bow along and adding that first finger at the same time. So now, we do A, B. You ready? Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so now we're going to do A, B, C. Add our first finger and then our second finger. Ready? One, two, three, four. Bow gets a little bit slower, so you gotta pull back that speed as we add more notes. Now, go into our third finger, A, B, C, D. Ready? One, two, three, four. So we have four whole notes in the bow now, getting a little bit slow. Now, because we have to go to our E string, we're gonna have to slur onto the E. So you're gonna feel that bow traveling and then rolling onto the E string after that third finger. Ready? One, two, three, four. So we get one or a zero, one, two, three, and then open E. Ready? We're gonna add another note. Now we go all the way to F. That's first finger on the E string now. So starting on open A, oh, one, Two, three, four. And we end on the first finger. Okay, so we've got another one to add. Next one is G. So we're gonna add that second finger on the E string now. Same beat, same speed, but the bow gets a little bit slower. One, two, three, four. Trying to add a lot of notes in one bow now. It's getting getting tricky, so don't feel bad if, if you gotta do it a few times. It's all about practice. It's always gonna take a few times to get it just right. So, last one here, we're going all the way to the third finger from A all the way to the next A. Here we go, same beat. One, two, three, four. And that's our slowest bow yet. Eight whole notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A string and then E string. And so this is a really great way to practice different speeds of bow and different amounts of notes to have in a bow. You can do this with all your scales. If you start on D, it's the same. And then G string is the same as well. So at home, Give it a try, start with just one note, see if you can add another note, and see how many you can add, and see, uh, see how many different speeds of bow that you can play with. Slow bows and fast bows. Fast fingers, practice your finger speed. So there are many things that you can look at when you're practicing this way. The speed of the bow, the speed of the fingers, the transfer of energy, letting their fingers fall one by one, nice and evenly. I always like to think of it like dominoes, kind of falling and tapping into the next one. You get your open string and then one, two, three, and they all kind of fall down together. So I hope this has been helpful. Try it out at home and uh, let me know what you think. Have fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that bell to turn the notifications on.